Hello everyone, my name is Kim Shah Joseph. Uh, welcome to More Than Conquerors. This is actually, well, this is not my very first YouTube uh, video, but I did one like way back, but this one's a bit different. Uh, I actually never saw myself doing this, but I feel deep in my spirit that the Lord is leading me towards starting this YouTube channel and spreading his name and the gospel thereof. Uh, I'm not even gonna, I'll give you my background on another video one of these days. I'm gonna get straight to it. But before I start, I was like doing like two prayers, a uh, prayer of my own. And if you haven't, I really suggest that you guys get a prayer book. The one I have is called Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. Very good prayer book, but let's do a prayer real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you as I spread your message today and the prophetic dream that you gave me, I ask you, Lord, to give me the interpretation. Let there be nothing lacking. Let be let there be nothing that I forget and everything that I speak is of you and not of me, Lord. Praise Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. Like I said, um, I like to do two prayers, a uh, prayer of my own, um, asking God for guidance because I never want to, when I'm speaking to you guys, I never want to just give you like my perspective. I want it to be what the Father wants me to tell you guys. And then I always like to get my prayer book. Like I said before, this is called Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. Today is January the 10th, yeah. So let's read. Dear Jesus, please help me learn to appreciate the difficult days, being stimulated by the challenges I encounter rather than becoming distressed. As I journey through rough terrain with you, I gain confidence from knowing that together we can handle anything. This knowledge is based on three blessings, your presence continually with me, the Bible's precious promises, and my past experiences of coping successfully by depending on you. When I look back on my life, I can see how much you have helped me through difficult days in the past, yet I easily fall into the trap of thinking. Yes, but that was then, and this is now. Instead, I need to remember that through my circumstances, change immensely. You remain the same throughout time and eternity. Moreover, in you I live and move have my being. As I live close to you, aware of your loving presence, I can go confidently through my toughest times. In your worthy name, amen. I love that book. But let's get straight to it. So about, I want to say about like a week and a half ago, if not two weeks ago, uh, I had a dream from the Lord and it was very vivid. And honestly, when I get certain dreams, I keep to myself. And usually if it's a dream that uh, I feel like God wants me to tell certain people, uh, I, have a, I go on this app called Beagle and I usually do like a sermon there or like t teach people the prophetic dreams that I get, the knowledge that I receive. But this dream in particular for about, I'm again just feeling from God, like that voice in my head from God telling me to basically go on YouTube and tell this prophetic dream. And whether it's what, five, 10, 30, or a hundred people watch this, it doesn't matter the magnitude or the velocity of how many people watch this. It's just, if anybody watches this, this message is for you. If you came across this message and you click this, this message is for you. So about two weeks ago, I had this dream from the Lord and it was a crazy dream. All around me was soldiers and I myself as a soldier, if I forgot to mention that. All around me was soldiers and it was like utter chaos. And it was a battle between the opposite sides. Everybody was in uniform and everybody was just fine, just utter just complete chaos. Now, but this wasn't like a regular fight, like a, a gunfight, like one, po the opposing team's on the opposite side and the other, and my team's on this side and we're just shooting at each other. No, it was it was hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of fighting. It was guns involved. There was shooting around. There was shooting missiles, RPGs, but there was also like some medieval combat. Soldiers running at each other, doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was all out war like complete war and i'll never forget well i can't forget it was in the dream but 
I, I remember in dream, I would never forget how I was feeling because I was calm within the war because I was more of the observer. Even though I myself was in the dream and I was part of the action, I wasn't fighting for some reason. Like I was in the middle of the war, but nobody was coming after me. Nobody was trying to kill me. I had my comrades around me fighting, but no, it was just nobody, it, as if the enemy did not see me. So I was just the observer. I don't know where, out of nowhere, it got real quiet. In the middle of the battle, it got real quiet. I didn't feel no wind. The RPGs, missiles stopped, stopped blowing up, like gunfire stopped. Everything just went quiet. You couldn't feel no wind in the dream, nothing. And the dream kind of just, I want to say skip. It, it kind of fast forward a little because I was still in the same area in the dream, but it went from everything this is how it went. it went from shooting, everybody going crazy, trying to kill each other, to all of a sudden things just stop, complete silence, no win, to now people are just crying, like crying, sobbing, saying, take me, take me, take me. And one of my good friends, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but one of my best friends in the dream, he was, he was grabbing me. So I knew he could see me, which was weird because at first it was as if nobody could see me, but he was grabbing me and he was yelling at the sky. He wasn't looking at me. He was grabbing me, but he was yelling at the sky. He's like, take me with you. Take me with you, Kimchi. Please don't leave me. And I found it so weird because I'm like, why are you saying don't leave me? I'm right here with you. And then at the corner of my eye, I saw the clouds opening. I mean, it was already open, but it was like, imagine a circle in the sky. And it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger, like the clouds just spreading. And a, a bright light, like a beam of light was just shining on like, not on everyone, but on a particular area. And I just saw people floating up, like literally just people floating up. And he kept on grabbing me and just saying, please take me with you, take me with you, don't leave me, Kim Shot. I'm like, I don't, in my head, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm down here with you. <laughs> I don't know why you're screaming. And when I noticed the people like floating up, I I immediately woke up. That once I noticed people flying up, I immediately woke up. And I didn't have fear in my heart, but I had this sudden urge of wanting to repent. And usually when you get that urge or you hear that voice in your head, that's God telling you what that interpretation means or what he needs you to do right now. And you best believe once I had that dream, I got on my knees and I started repenting. But that dream in specific wasn't just for me. So the interpretation of the dream is pretty much self-explanatory. There is, whether you want to believe me or not, but I feel if you are clicking on this video, this is going to resonate with you. There is a humongous war coming. You can call it World War III, Armageddon, whatever you want to call it. Just know there is war coming. And this war is... It's completely different. Is is like I said before the, in the dream, it wasn't a regular gunfight. It wasn't one team on the other side. One team, like yeah, there was opposing teams, but it, it was both gunfire, missiles, every people on like. And I'm not talking about five, ten people. I'm talking about thousands of soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was utter chaos. This. People, ladies and gentlemen, there's a, we are about to enter a time, I'm going to just call it, it, we are literally at the end of times, the end of days. And I know that you've been hearing this since, what, your grandmother, your mother, and so on and so on. They've been hearing this for generations and, you know, they're like, oh, God's not coming. Listen, a thousand years is a day to God and a day <laughs> is a thousand years to God. It, time, basically meaning team, time does not exist to the Lord our Savior. Time does not exist. So to you, you're like, oh man, that's been like thousands of years since Jesus died on the cross and still he's not here. Like, listen, I'm trying to tell you what God wanted me to spread to you guys is this. You, me too, we all need to repent. Repent big time because his time is coming more closer than ever. If you, listen, if you ever care to pick up this book, the Bible, if you read any book, if you read any book in this Bible, just go to Revelation. 
Just go to Revelation and you see everything that I'm talking about is already happening. It says that near the end of time, brother will fight against brother, father will fight against father, son against son. Like it even talks about that there will be a time that those who do not take the mark of the beast will not be able to shop, will not be able to work. You know, disease will strike the land. Famine will strike the land. Ladies and gentlemen, if you even care to watch the news, you don't even have to watch the news. Go on social media. We are, I'm not saying a certain, I'm not going to say his name, little, is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying that. When I am, what I am saying is that we are leading towards that mark. If we already, if certain states and certain cities are saying like, no, you can't come in here without... Um, without the vaccine, mm, I don't, damn, don't mess up. And say, <laughs> you can't come in here without a shot. You can't, you got to show your vaccine card. Some jobs are firing people because you're not taking this certain, uh, this certain shot. Ladies and gentlemen, all the evidence around you is showing you that the end of times is coming. And plus, with this, with this war that's supposed to look like it's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm here to tell you, well, for one, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a prophet, because listen, I I'm a new reborn again Christian, but I have been getting prophetic dreams and visions since I was a child. I'm just now coming to fluorescence and accepting my God-given gift, whether people accept that or not. But I'm not claiming to be an apostle, I'm not claiming to be a saint, I'm not claiming to be a prophet, but I do believe in my heart of hearts, my destiny is to spread the word of God. And I'm telling you not not to scare you. But I want to scare you, if that makes sense. And that's for your betterment because we are about to come to a time like God is so closer than ever. So closer than ever. Judgment Day is so is so close. Like I feel like if you're watching this video, you're gonna feel deep in your hearts that what I'm saying is true. What I'm saying to you is that you need to repent. And this is not me like these religious folks. First off, I might be a Christian and I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, but I'm not like these religious folks saying, you going to hell, you going this. But if you're watching this video, you have certain, you have ways you need to change it. You have ways you need to repent for. I, I myself, I'm not perfect. I mean, if you notice, I mean, I, I got tats. I I got piercing. Like, listen, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm not here to judge you. I, I have no room to judge, but I am here to warn you. The time is coming closer than ever. And I know I'm repeating that is because I want to emphasize that. I want to emphasize that the great, not just tribulation, but the great tribulation is closer than ever. The Antichrist and Satan and his enemies are, they're working hard to make you think that the rapture doesn't exist, that this this book, this book right here is a bunch of fairy tales and it's a myth. They're working hard. They're working hard to make you lose your focus on social media or uh, stupid, redundant things on YouTube. They're working hard to make you think that the sinful natures of man is okay. They make jokes of it. They make jokes of uh, adultery, making it seem like, making it, trying to seem like it's a norm. They, they make all these sinful acts a norm and listen i know i might have a couple friends watching this video like bro i know you like you used to do all these kind of things like yes but like i said i am not a saint but i am changing my ways because i know the truth whether you want to accept it or not i know the truth and the truth is that jesus christ yeshua hamashi is coming and he's coming close and before the great tribulation he is going to rapture his chosen ones, his his group. He is going to separate the sheep and the, the goats, the good from the evil, all right? And whether you want to accept it or not, whether you think this book is fairy tales or any of that sort, I am here to warn you. You clicked on this video for a reason. This this video didn't pop, on, pop up on your timeline just out of coincidence. If this is resonating to you, it's because... God is trying to tell you, my child, repent. I'm not saying that in a bashful way. I'm not saying that as a religious uh, bishop or anything of the sort telling you like you go. No, I'm telling you as your friend, as another child of God to another, like the time is coming now. The time is coming now. 
And ladies and gentlemen, you, you got to ask yourself, is what, whatever simple thing you're doing, because I don't know, whatever you, you're doing that you know that God will not approve, is it really worth not going to the promised land? Is it really worth spending eternity away from the Father, away from your Creator, into a, a dark depths of hell? Because I've seen hell. But you may not believe it, I've seen hell. And it's something that's gonna be that's gonna be another video, but it's something that trust me, fam, you don't want. You, you you don't want these problems is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not I'm gonna cut the video around here because I'm not trying to drag this along. I think I got my message across. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is coming. The Lord is asking you, He's pleading with you, come to Him, repent, build that relationship with Him. And I promise you, you you open to the you open the door to the Father, He will walk in. You go seek the Father, you will find Him. And there's going to be days, I ain't going to lie to you, there's going to be days that it's going to be hard. There's going to be days that you're going to be wondering that like, what's the point of this? This whole life, this world, this world is one big, giant, spiritual warfare battlefield. We are all soldiers in Christ. And believe it or not, some of us has fallen or gone to the other side. And some of us are troopers. I'm here to encourage you. Build that relationship with the Father. Repent for your sins. Because ladies and gentlemen, the time is close. Once again, my name is Kim Shot Joseph. I'm glad that you sat this long for these what, 16, 17 minutes and cared to listen to my message. Thank you very much. God bless.